All right, so when did you start modeling, Mel? Uh, back end of 2010, I started modeling. So you were about 15? Yeah, I was 15. You're 20 now? Yeah, I'm 20, yep. And you modeled in New York or something like that? Yeah, so two months later, I won a competition. Two months later, um, they got me over to New York and I um, did some photo shoots, got who, my book up. With, like, Wilhelmina models. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I love them. They're really, they treated me really well. Um, yeah, and then, What sort of brands did you model with? Uh, I modeled back here in Australia, or in Australia, I'm in Thailand. Back in Australia, Forever New, uh, Sports Girl, Vogue Australia, mm. Marie Claire. I did a lot. I was very lucky. Um, the way I was scouted, I got my face got out there. Um, there was a blogger in Australia called Proc Rider. She did a story on me the week I was scouted, and that got like thousands of views. And then uh, you know, I was I went over to Fashion Week, got about. I think it was like 15 shows in New York, which is good. Rodate, um, Jeremy Scott, Dennis Basso, which is fur, which I don't really agree with anymore. Mm. But you know, at the time, yeah. I, I, I got my face out there and I um, yeah, went to Europe, did Paris, London, Milan, um, did the circuit. And I did that for three years from 2011 to 2013. I think it was a good experience. Though. Yeah, I ended up living in New York. Um, yeah, I loved it. It was amazing, amazing experience, but I was just undercut the whole time. It's cutthroat industry? Yes. <laughs> Extremely cutthroat. Out of 10, how cutthroat would it be? Oh, uh, 10. Yeah, 10 out of yeah, 10 cutthroat. Yeah, and uh, at the time, like, I was 15, I did whatever, they, I would do whatever they told me to do to, you know, get where I needed to be. Like, I, I went back to New York one year and I was 30, so it's all in inches what they, they measure you. They get the t measuring tape straight away as soon as you get there. and put around your hips, that's the main thing. Um, I was sold as a 34 inch hip, like on my comp card, which is your business card, with your pictures and stuff and your measurements, and um, went back and I was 35 inches. And uh, so they sat me down and had a talk and said, you know, like I love my agency, but they kind of just, they had to tell me or I wouldn't have got work. So yeah. they said, um, okay, so 35 inches, we're selling you at a 34, so you've got a week before Fashion Week starts, um, maybe do some Bikram yoga. So <laughs> I did. I did Bikram yoga like twice, twice a day for about a week. Dehydrate yourself. Dehydrated, um, cut the carbs. Yeah, calorie cut strict. Calories. I didn't eat that much, and obviously, you know, I lost water weight and I lost the inches. How'd you feel? Like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was so at the end of Fashion Week as well. Like I had to go to Paris straight after or London. I can't remember, and I could hardly even like go to castings. I got there and I. I, did, I had an amazing fashion week and it all looked nice in the pictures and on my Instagram I post all these pictures and I'm like really tired of posting yeah. pictures. I got sick at the end of it, I probably for about a week after I had to go back to New York and I just had to lie in my bed sick and try to toasted. do some work but yeah I was just toasted. Do you think the modeling industry in general cares about how girls get skinny or they just want skinny girls? No they don't care, they don't, they don't care. care at all. Um, High turnover rate? Yeah for sure. I like. I'm not modeling very much anymore. Mm. Um, I want to get back to it, and I know that I can get my body back to it. I know that will take time. In a, in a healthy way. Yeah, yeah, in a healthy way. I've, I've inflicted so much metabolic damage on mm. myself that it, it might, I, who knows how long it will take, but I have faith, and yeah. you guys have given me faith to um, have patience, you know, and um, get back to it eventually. Well, you're on the bike up the mountain today at Doisy Tep, yeah. I think, and you're young and stuff, so I think it won't take long at all. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third time at the mountain, and um, good. Carved up last night, and I did my best time. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't very like it was still about an hour twenty, hour thirty, mm -hmm. but it's better than that'll I've done. That'll drop right down. That'll, yeah. That'll drop. Yeah, and You'll that's my goal. You know, eventually. Just, I hope so. Definitely. Yeah. So, what advice would you have for girls out there who are in modelling and they're starving themselves to stay a certain way? What What would your advice be? Go vegan. Go vegan. Go vegan and get happy, get healthy. I'm not. I have put on a lot of weight since I went vegan and mm. and there was there Started were times enough. yeah I've been vegan for about a year and a half now a bit less and there've been times where I kind of have questioned it strayed I've questioned yeah, yeah I've qu questioned it I've strayed from it starting meat again like mm. fish just because I was told it wasn't working for me people were saying you know this can't be healthy you my skin broke out a lot mm. all of that like it still does a little bit but I don't care anymore like I don't, yeah, I don't give a fuck. You're more about feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I do. I feel, I haven't felt this good in a long time, it's, especially in Thailand. Like, the weather is amazing, yeah. and 
the people here are so inspiring. You guys are here and you're you're not hard to talk to like a lot of celebrities, a lot mm. of people when they get, you know, really um, successful. They won't it's hard to talk to them yeah, anymore. They get a bit uppity. <laughs> uppity, up themselves, yeah. <laughs> and so that's something that I really I can see that I'd like to get back there one day, mm. you know, model, but I wanna put my message out there and say like down to earth. Yeah, I'm yeah, stay down to earth and just there's no use, you know, damaging yourself that much. I was, it looked like I was having an amazing life, but I was so tired all the time. Mm. I, my mum, she arrived in New York, maybe the last fashion week I did, and I had already had a two week, you know, casting period. And that's pre-casting, so maybe 15 yeah. to 20 castings a day all over New York. So yeah. Upper East Side, like East 60th Street to down to Soho, and you, um, you're running all day, literally running and eating on, in the subway or whatever yeah. and my mum arrived and I just slid down on the bed with her and I just cried I was like I'm so so tired please don't talk to me I just yeah. I Close. just need you here beside me and I'm so exhausted it's the side of modeling we don't really see is it yeah we don't, we don't really see, see it. it we just see like the glamour they just, you just once you're at that weight they don't care how they you get care. there um, so and, and do they care? Does anyone ring you up and say, "Hey, how are you going now?" How are you going? <laughs> they don't care. Do, do, no, no. no. I'll, I, I still contact my agents back mm. in New York and um, a bit of Europe. Um, it's business, isn't it? If you can't make money, it's like see yeah, later. yeah, exactly, and that's understandable. Yeah, it's but it business. would be it would be amazing if they could understand, if the world could understand that this is this is how you can be healthy and yeah. sustain it. Yeah. It would be amazing for the fashion industry because mm. they'd have so many more models to choose from that haven't blown out. Yeah, and um, we just need Freely to become six foot. Yeah, exactly. She's beautiful. She could she six could, foot and yeah. twenty old. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I I'll get back there one day and I'll come back to the modeling industry and mm. be a voice for yeah. fresh change. Yeah, and it's I want to yeah. Good example. Yeah, because I had success and I want that again. I loved it. Um, I wouldn't say I don't have success anymore, but it's a different. It's a different level. I've got happiness now. I don't really care. That's success. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Thanks, Amy. We'll do some more in the future. No worries. All right. Thank you.